Our Adventures of Biggles. Zoratov and von Stahlheim play a clever trick on Algy and Ginger. As a result, the Flyers lose the box containing Hagen's papers and see their enemies bearing it off in triumph to the Viga. They are most despondent when they rejoin their friends at the plane. But Biggles, determined and optimistic as always, sets off at once in pursuit of the yacht. It is the following morning that he finds the first clue to its whereabouts. On the horizon is a tiny island, just such an island as the crooks may use for shelter. Also approaching the island is a submarine. In a flash, Biggles guesses its purpose. We've been wondering how Zolotov and von Stahlheim would get the papers back to Europe, haven't we? Yes. Well, there's their transport. But why a submarine? Huh. Zolotov's country is very fond of subs, Algy. Besides, it's the most useful way to disappear. I suppose the crooks would scarcely have gone back to Jamaica with the papers. They'd know we'd be watching for them throughout the West Indies. I should have realized that they'd have their escape prearranged. Just as well we saw the sub then. My word. Otherwise, the Vega would have been found drifting aimlessly about the islands and everybody would have been guessing as to what happened to the crew. Another flying Dutchman story. Exactly. But that won't happen now, by Jingo. There's not much we can do about the sub, Biggles. Particularly now it's submerged. Don't be too sure of that. But before we make any plans, there's something else to establish. The Vega? Yes. From the course of the sub, it seems likely that she's at the island. But we'll make sure. Then we'll have to plan fast. I think there's a harbor. There seems to be an indentation in the coast. There is. It's only small, but it's big enough. And she's there. That's settled. Now the Vega and the sub are both set. But what can we do about them? Plenty. <laughs> Is she anchored? Yes, I think so. That's all we need to know. She's waiting for the sub. Better change course, Biggles. They'll see us. What does it matter if they do? I'm not landing. And not yet. I thought you had a plan in mind. I have. I'll tell you about it later, Algy. Will you hop aft and tell Colonel Summers I want to see him? This concerns him. Roger. But don't hold out too long. I'm curious now. I say, well, what's going on, Bigglesworth? Lacey was talking some nonsense about a submarine. No nonsense, Colonel. Sit down in the spare pilot's seat. I want to yarn with you. Well, what would a submarine be doing here? It's come to collect Zolotov and von Stahlheim. And, of course, those precious papers. Mm. Enemy, eh? For the purpose of this exercise, we can regard it as an enemy. That's what I want to discuss with you. You're in charge of this operation, old man. I'm only here to help. Will you help by organizing a load of bombs? What did you say? Bombs. Eggs. Nasty things that you drop from the sky and then go off with a big bang. But, but, but what on earth do you want bombs for? <laughs> that submarine. Oh, look here, man. You're probably right about it, but, but you can't go bombing strange ships in, in a time of peace. Why, it's, uh, it's likely to start another war. I don't think so. In the first place, that sub is snooping in British waters when it shouldn't be. In the second, it's planning to pick up wanted criminals who've stolen the property of Her Majesty's government. In the third, I don't intend to drop the bombs on the sub. In the fourth... Not drop them on it? Then what the deuce do you want them for? To prevent the two boats making contact. My idea is to make it unhealthy for the sub to come too close to the island. But suppose the yacht puts out and tried to join the sub? Well, in that case, I'll have no compunction about bombing the yacht. But I don't think von Stahlhein will be so foolish. And in the fourth place... All right, all right, I've heard enough. But I, I can't help you, man. I, I only keep uh, tear gas bombs in my arms depot at Kingston. Oh, I realize that, sir. But you're a mighty man in the land back in that fair city. I felt you might be able to use your influence with the RAF squadron. Have to uh, have the approval of the uh, minister, you know. Oh, no. No, not red tape. Afraid to, old man. I'll do my best for you, though. Uh, but are you sure this idea is going to work? If we can act quickly enough, it will. But can you? 
Is there time to fly to Kingston and back before the sub reaches the island? I think so. With a little to spare. Now the sub is travelling underwater. They don't exactly race along submerged, you know. Uh, I suppose not. But uh, even so, do you think it's wise for us all to fly away? Uh, well, anything could happen while we're gone. Oh, we're not all going, sir. Algy and Bertie will travel back with you. It'll give Bertie a chance to have his leg attended to. I'm going to stay here to keep an eye on the crooks. Well, that'll mean finding a landing ground. More delay. Well, not much. I've been scouting round for one while we've been talking. We're heading in for it now. Oh? You see the reef down there? Mm, yes. It's on the opposite side of the island to the bay. The water inside is perfectly calm. We'll make it our rendezvous. Yeah, it seems quite a good spot. The, the crooks won't see us go down there. I hope not. Now, sir, will you send Aldi forward again? I want to brief him so that there's no delay when we land. <laughs> Happy about it, Algy? I'm not happy about you blokes staying on the island. Goodness knows how many men are in that sub. If you work to schedule, the sub should never reach the island. Hadn't we better work on a deadline? Then we'll know if anything's gone wrong. All right. I doubt if the sub will reach the island before dawn, even if she does travel on the surface at night. Let's make the deadline dusk tonight. Think you can make Kingston bomb up and be back by then? Providing there's no hold-up, I should. Colonel Summers will smooth the way for you. The chief of police is a big man in a city like Kingston. I'll make a point of being on the beach here at dusk. If either of us doesn't turn up, then... Um, then something's gone wrong, eh? That's it. And it'll be up to the other bloke to act as he thinks best. All clear? Yes. Is everything you want in the dinghy? Yes, I think so. Oh, uh, I'll take these binoculars, if you don't mind. Might come in handy to observe the sub. Here. Thanks. Bertie's going to ferry us ashore. As soon as he comes back, you can take off. I will. Doesn't look as if there's going to be any dawdling on this trip. There mustn't be, LJ. Come back as fast as you can. And come back with those bombs. Once I'm going to crown Harriet with a spanner. Oh, I say. Now that I've been dead, don't be hasty. Uh, put down that lethal belly weapon at once. Can't you see Harriet's trembling? I warned you. Harriet, didn't you hear what the gentleman said? If he isn't obeyed, he's likely to be most very unreasonable. Do you understand? Bertie! Yes, old trout? You want me for something? What are you doing here at the drone? I told you to see the doctor about that bullet wound. Oh, that. Um, how's the jolly old maintenance going? I'd trundle back to give you a hand. I'm perfectly capable of looking after the kite by myself. What's happening about your leg? Well, if you really want to know, I pulled it, and it's been right ever since. Oh, oh I say that's rather good, what? I pulled my own leg. <laughs> Bertie, be serious for a moment, please. My nerves aren't what they should be tonight. Now, frankly, old sausage, they should always be a bit different. It's that darn sub. I can't get it out of my mind that every minute it's sailing closer to the island. And unless we get there in time, Biggles, Dint and Tom will have to meet it by themselves. Yes, yeah, not too belly good, that thought. No sign of the old chiefy yet. No, he hadn't come back. Now, tell me what you've done about your leg. Did you see a doctor? Well, frankly, old trout, we Lissies have grown to hate doctors. Why? They have a horrible habit of putting us Lissies in a hospital on the least provocation. That's why. So we didn't risk it. Do you mean to say you, you've still got that dirty old dressing on the wound? No, absolutely not. We Lissies are nothing if not martyrs to the cause of modern medical science. What did you do? Went to the nearest chemist. He put a bandage on it. That's not enough, Bertie. Huh, don't you believe it, old Bean? Feels wonderful now. Um, <clears throat> bend over and I'll prove it to you. Um, here's the colonel. Hmm. Can't see him carrying any bombs, by Jove. And he's looking like murder. How did you get on, sir? Colonel? Hmm? I, I, I say, uh, Colonel Summers. Oh, I, I say, oh, <laughs> you may well ask. I, I've been on the map before my minister. You have? 
Mm-hmm. But sizzling sausages, what for? Oh, well, for gallivanting round the island with you fellows. Apparently he's wanted me about six times during the last couple of days, and I haven't been there. But hang it all, sir. You've only been doing your job. Yes, the minister doesn't see it that way. He thinks my job is in my office, directing the operations of other policemen. <laughs> I've been uh, given definite instructions that I'm not to go out with you again. Baked potatoes, that's tough, old bean. I mean to say, we were getting you quite well educated. You'd have been one of the gang before long. Oh, I enjoyed it, Bertie. However, there's a reason behind all this attitude of the ministers. Every member of the government is uh, jumpy as frightened kittens. But good grief, why? There's nothing to be jumpy about here in Jamaica. Mm, They think they have. (laughs) Uh, There's been trouble in uh, British Guiana. It's set everyone in the West Indies on edge. Until it dies down, uh, like here, will be slightly abnormal. Oh, well, there's nothing to do with us. Yes, in a way it is, Lazy. Why, what do you mean? Because of the trouble, the minister won't agree to the use of bombs against the submarine. He's vetoed Biggles' plan. If the plane doesn't return with the bombs, Biggles and his small party will be stranded on the island. Can Algy reverse this decision? Will his friends be in need of his help? Be sure you hear the next thrilling chapter of The Air Adventures of Biggles.